bless the Lord. O oh, my soul and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Jerome Fair is here again, and this is Grow Your Faith Today. For this is the day the Lord hath made. We rejoice and we are glad to be in it. We bless the Lord today and we thank God once again for this day and uh, this another privilege to be with you, to share with you a, a word from the Lord. Uh, we've been studying on the question and uh, this question uh, came from Acts chapter 16. It was an inquiry of the Philippian jailer who asked uh, the Apostle Paul, what must I do to be saved? We, we looked further and we, we saw that uh, based upon this, uh, this inquiry, this question that was asked, that it, it stemmed from uh, a, 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 an acknowledgement, a, a realization of this, of this young man, of this Philippian jailer, that God had placed an indictment upon all of mankind. The indictment was and still is that, that all of us, each and every one of us, have sinned to come short of the glory of God. For the Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through all, through our Lord Jesus Christ. And, and so we, we, we praise God today and we, we want to just continue in part three of this series uh, on the question. And, and today uh, we, we want to look at uh, the importance we, we want to look at uh, uh, the matter of, 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 of imperative, uh, and that is the importance of, 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 of getting God's answer to this question. Now, now a couple of things that we, that we need to consider when we, when we think about getting the answer and how important it is that we, that, that, that we get the answer uh, as soon as possible, uh, we need to consider three facts. Uh, one uh, is that life is short. The two is that death is certain. And the third thing is that Christ is coming back soon. The, these are three things that we, we, we really need as, as we look at this question that we need to keep in the forefront of our mind and, and in our, our heart and our consciousness that, 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 that God is coming back. And, and he's coming back sooner than we think. And so as we look at this, I, I want to, to just, uh, just share with you uh, again uh, uh, the importance of, of giving obedience to the answer to this question. Uh, and, and, and we want to, to, to look at a, a couple of passages of scripture. Uh, in Matthew chapter 16, verse 26, uh, Jesus says, For what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul. What, what does it profit a man? In Luke chapter 12, verse 15, uh, he says, A man's life consists not in the abundance of things which he possess. We, we would like to look today in our study. Uh, we, we want you to look with us in Luke chapter 12. Uh, Luke chapter 12. And uh, we're going to look around the 16th verse, and this is the parable of the rich fool. It says, And he spake a parable unto them, this is Jesus, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentiful, and he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, this will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater, and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, so thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be Mary. Now, as we, we, we look at this, uh, again, uh, we, we have a, 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 a rich fool uh, who the Bible says uh, had been uh, blessed 
uh, material-wise. He, he had been blessed. Uh, the, the ground had, uh, he had found favor from God and, and he, uh, he, he brought forth of, of, of fruit, uh, plenty. And then it says he thought within himself. If we could notice, just take a look at this, this passage, we see the word I numerous times. Me, myself, and I. We, we see nowhere that, that God is in the equation. Uh, everything that he uh, has acquired, everything that, that this man uh, has, he attributes to himself and, and not to the Creator, not to God who uh, provided all of it. And so as we, we look at this, uh, again, uh, the, this question, the question is, what must I do to be saved? And again, as we look at the, the, uh, the facts, uh, the fact of the matter is, that again, life, life is short. Life is very brief. And, and each and every one of us, uh, we, we ought to thank God each and every day. Every day we open our eyes, uh, it, it could be the last day that we're here. But by the grace of God, by the mercy of God, he extends us uh, another day, uh, a day in which we had never seen before. And when it is over, it is a day we will never see again. Uh, life is short and, and, and it's brief. And, and with that, we know that death is certain. For the Bible says uh, it is appointed once for man to die and then will come the judgment. In other words, each and every one of us will one day have to stand before God and make an account of the things that we did with what God had given us. And so as we look at this particular passage, uh, this man, uh, it says that, that, that after he, 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 he looked at all that he had, he, he, he said to himself, this is what I would do. I'm going to tear down all my barns. I'm going to build larger and greater barns where I'll have room for all of my goods and my fruit. And then I will say to my soul, soul, you've done a good job. Uh, soul, you, 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 you are great because of what you have, have done. You've laid up for many years. He says, I'm going to kick back. I'm going to sit back. I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to eat, drink, and be merry. But then the 20th verse says, but God. It said, but God said unto him, thou fool, this night thou soul shall be required. Of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? The brevity of life, life is certain and death is sure. Death is sure. And, and so it's upon this man's death that he now must realize that what he has is not just for him. And, and, and that's, that's what's, what's so important, is, is, is understanding that, that the time that you and I have here, that, that, that God have given us, and, and the things that he provides for us and that he gives us, uh, that, that we are uh, to share with others. Uh, instead of this man uh, uh, taking what he had and sharing it with others, he wanted to, to hoard it. He wanted to keep it for himself. And, 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 and God said, this day, uh, your soul will be required of thee. So as we look at this, the, the importance, the importance of uh, understanding that we are to be obedient. We are to give obedience to the answer to this question of what must I do to be saved? We, we must, we must, on the time that God has given us, uh, that, that we must make sure that, that we have uh, done what we needed to do to ensure that we have a right standing with God. Uh, and, and, and scripture tells us for uh, uh, now is the day of salvation.
Today is the year of salvation. We, while we have uh, breath still in our, in our lungs, uh, while the blood is still running warm in our veins, make sure that your selection is sure. Make sure that you have uh, done what you needed to do to ensure that after this life is over, that you have life eternal. And that's through Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Apostle Paul said in, in, in Acts chapter 16 to this uh, Philippian jailer, after he inquired with this question, what must I do to be saved? He said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shall be saved. It's important that we take each and every opportunity that we have, each and every day that we have, make sure that you've accepted Jesus Christ. For no man knows the day nor the hour that the Son of Man will return. None of us know when that day will come that we have to say goodbye to our loved ones. None of us know that. And so it's so important, so very important. So I would, would encourage you, if, if, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, please do not put it off until tomorrow. Don't wait. Make sure that you've accepted Christ today, for tomorrow is not promised. Amen. Praise God. We pray and, and, and hope that this word was a, a blessing to you, that it, it encouraged your heart. Again, we thank God for you. Uh, we just want to ask that you would uh, please subscribe uh, to uh, this channel, that we might be able to continue to uh, provide a, a word of, of hope and encouragement, a word of deliverance uh, uh, to you. And, and uh, again, we thank God for you. Uh, Lord's will, we'll see you next time. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.